YouTube. I'm back again. I am on my rinse cycle. So as of right now, I'm going to show you. I bought this at Walmart. Okay, and I'm going to show you my hand, how big the bottle is. It does about 39 small loads. Um, on my part, um, the non-concentrated Snuggle Blue Sparkle. This stuff smells amazing. Um, it is non-concentrated, so it is more like watery. But I'm just going to show you how much that I pour in it. About a fourth of this cup, okay? And it is watery. I'm talking about very, very thin. It's not concentrated. Concentrated means it's a lot thicker, so it's less that you use. Non-concentrated is basically where it's just watered down, and you're going to be using about a cap full per full load. Me, I use about a fourth of a cup to a half of this cup to go in to my rinse cycle. Um, I ran out and I went to Walmart and I found this and it smelled really good and it was very cheap. Um, it's about a dollar fifty just for this, and it's going to cost more if you get the concentrated. But the non-concentrated, it's only a dollar fifty, so a total of a dollar sixty-two with tax and all, and that's not bad. So, I will probably end up stocking up on some of these when I get paid because I feel like this is going to be a lot better to use on the clothes. Um, I have noticed it makes the clothes smell a lot fresher, a lot cleaner, and I don't have to worry about um, wrinkles in the clothes because it does soften the clothes very, very nicely. So, I'm just going to show you all real quick. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to turn this on about three minutes because all I'm doing is rinsing the rest of the soap. And see, it's going to go all the way around only because I've already had it on that. So I'm just going to keep it on about three minutes. As you can see, three minutes. The timer is on. It's going. And I'm going to go ahead and add this. I have it on a full load right now. So I'm just going to pour that in there. Maybe get a little bit of water and rinse that cup out. And then once I get this put on good, then I'm going to shut the slid and then put my bottle down. But as you can tell, it is a little shaky because I do have it on the roller thing. And sorry, I have my water in here. Um, but, uh, my opinion, I do like this washer, I do, um, and it really is a good washing machine, but the thing is, I want to upgrade to something a lot bigger, because of course, this is only a 22 pound washing machine, and I have a family of six, but this has gotten us through a lot, being that we didn't have to spend a whole lot of money. So as you can tell, it is about on two minutes about a minute and a half now so it doesn't really have to go for too long as you can see there's hardly any bubbles once the bubbles do hit it's mainly just the soap that was left in the clothes um but as you can tell i'm going to go ahead and stop the wash it's not going anymore and i'm going to switch this to drain I do have the water thing in here, so I'm letting the water run, and as you can tell, it's clean water. There's no dirty water at all. So once that pretty much gets done draining, and as you can tell, it is pretty full, and it's going down, I will automatically see that it's all the way at the bottom. And then once it gets to the bottom, then um, I will automatically switch them to the spinner. You can actually see the spinner on the inside. It is made of aluminum metal, as you can tell. So just going to take that out. Don't lose that whatsoever because it, um, you need that. And yes, my bathroom's a mess, so mainly have like a lot of clothes and stuff, and I haven't swept the floor, so don't judge. 
Okay, so pretty much I'm going to start off with this towel. You see how ringing wet this towel is, okay? So I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to show you. See all the water dripping off that towel? We are going to get the water out of that towel. So I'm just going to put it in there. I'm going to press this down. Not hard, but lightly. I'm going to go ahead and start it. It's not that loud. And as you can tell, all the water falling out of there is from the towel mainly. Once that goes down to pretty much dripping barely, that's when you know most of the water and, and everything is out of the whole container. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and look at the timer. The timer is on two minutes. Alright, so once this moves to the one, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. And you can tell the timer moves pretty fast, so obviously I'm thinking to myself, I don't even know if this thing is really going, you know, at a minute speed or if it's just doing whatever, but we're going to go ahead and stop it there. And once you open it, it'll automatically stop. So this right here is dry. There's no water on it, so you know that the clothes are good to go. This towel is completely good. There's no water, nothing, nothing dripping off of it. Perfectly damp. Smells amazing. Smells fresh and clean. And I usually just hang them over a chair in the kitchen at night, and then I will just let them dry. So we're going to go ahead and start on the second towel. Okay, the second towel. And then I think I have, a, um, I think that's a sports bra. All right, and then. Just barely going to press down on that and then turn it. It shakes a little bit, but then it'll go. But if you ever hear banging or anything like that, you need to literally take the clothes out and restock them because it's unlivable. Pretty much the way it would be if you use a washing machine and it bangs real bad, you need to go set it up to where it's not unlevelled. And the inside is pretty clean. I do need to clean this lint cap out. It does get a little bit of lint in the towel. I did have a lint trap up underneath this, when it, you know, as it's coming out, but my kids ran off with it and it just disappeared. So I don't know where it went. I guess I will have to buy another one. Alright, so I don't hardly see any water dripping out, but just a little. Not enough to like do anything, you know. So, we're going to go ahead and stop it. Open it up. The spinny is pretty dry. We have a sports bra that's clean. It smells nice and fresh. We have a towel that is ringed out really good. And looks pretty good. My purple, purple towel. I have purple and pink towels. So, this is mainly on using the rent cycle and this is how you're using your spinner how you know when it's completely almost done so i just wanted to share this i know i have a few videos on this i haven't ha really had time to even show y'all the the main one like how you use it from the beginning to the end but if you go through there and you watch my first and second video this is should be my third video and i have other things that i would like to show too um once you know i get into that but um i would just like to say thank you for watching my video and please subscribe and i will try to put more videos on there as soon as possible goodbye